Clive from Unsung Hero Guitars. Today I'd like to walk you through some refurbishment work I recently did on a PRS McCarty model guitar for a very good customer of mine. Uh, it's fair to say that the, the poor guitar had seen, uh, had seen some action, um, had a tough paper round as we say. So it was uh, shipped off to the workshop here for me to restore it to some kind of former glory. Well here's the patient lying on the workshop bench in the condition that it arrived. You'll see it's in its uh, owner's favourite colour. And looking across the guitar, there are all kinds of little nicks and dings and scratches. Uh, there are various chunks missing from the guitar around, uh, around its body, but I'll, uh, I'll get into those later on. So after having a good look around the guitar, I took some photographs and then contacted the owner with some recommendations on, on the work we could carry out to bring this back to tip-top form. Obviously the first thing to do was to get the strings off and from there I gave the, the fretboard a light scrape just to remove any grime and uh, to flatten out some of the grain. And from there it was a case of taping up the fretboard, levelling the frets, recrowning and polishing them so that everything is in perfect playing order with no buzzing or choking. And then the board was re-nourished with some lemon oil and as you can see here this is the uh, some fretware before and after all the work uh, that fretware has now been taken away so we're back uh, we're back as we should be and as this photo shows with slot one being as wide as slot five the the nut had seen better days so um, it was a case of replacing that with a Graftec tusk nut which uh, really really good quality and it gave us the opportunity of course to install the nuts so that the, so the slots were at the optimal playing height so moving on to the circuitry, you'll see from these pictures that when the bare knuckle pickups were installed after market, someone hadn't done a particularly stellar job, shall we say. So I tidied that all up and now looks an awful lot better and it actually works, which is a which is a bonus. The coil, the coil splitting works. You can see there that the wiring around the volume pot wasn't great. Um, so new new pot went in and that was all tidied up, orange drop tone cap there as well. And again, the existing wire around the toggle. Not brilliant, you know, it's just asking for trouble and now much tidier. So um, we're happy, it looks good and uh, it works. So moving on to the body, you can see there are some light scratches in the finish from, from just general playing. Um, not a big deal that, but uh, reduced the appearance of those, got things tidied up. There's a chip here on the top horn, which um, unfortunately not too much we can do there because it's right down into the finish. It's really been affected. Just try to try to make it look a little bit less, uh, a little bit less nasty. And there's some dents there along the top edge of the horn, which were filled and smoothed and polished up. So, so again, they look uh, look a little easier on the eye. This next photo shows probably one of the worst areas on the guitar. This was a, uh, a significant chip which had uh, compromised the whole finish. Uh, not just the lacquer. Um, so we've just got to try and do a localised repair on that just to make it look a little less obvious from a, from a few feet away. Again, big scoring scratch there and some extra dents. Uh, not the greatest angle to show you there, but it just, as I say, it just if you're in the front row, you're probably not going to see it anymore. And moving around, more chips, more dings. All localised repairs, not perfection, not perfection by any means. Um, that's impossible to achieve unless you really strip this back. Um, but just little localised stuff does help the appearance and the chip there between the pickups. Game reduced, reduced the appearance of that, so it looks a bit less sorry. A couple of little dents behind the tailpiece. Filled, smooth, polished, so yep, looking a bit tidier there. Not so much of a problem, looks like somebody loves it again. Some play wear there just underneath the strings, just like scratching, it's going to happen on a guitar, you know, they're there to be used. But fortunately we can, uh, we can make things look nice and, nice and pretty again. This was a strange chip, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how you get such significant damage in that particular area of the guitar, but, uh, but there we go, it happened. So a little work there and uh, things don't look quite so bad. So there we have it. Overall, this was the guitar once again as it arrived, and this is how it left. Looking far, far less beat up, far less sorry. For sure, I mean, guitars are there to be used, That's, there's no issue there. But a little bit of TLC now and then certainly doesn't go amiss. So this guitar is now back with its owner, who is delighted with the work, I'm pleased to say. 
Um, you know, watching him open the case and having the wow factor all over again was it was a real treat. Um, so yeah, happy days.